Yo, welcome back to Urban Street 420. I'm your host, 40. Today we are going to do a review of one of these odorless stash bags. You know, so maybe when you're out, you don't want everyone to know what you the goods that you've got, right? So I ordered this from Amazon. Uh, there's a lot of different manufacturers that look like they have the same bag, right? So uh, real simple, we're gonna cut this little tag off right here. And after we do that, let's open this puppy up. By the way, it didn't come in a box, so there's no need to do any unboxing, etc. It just comes with this. Over here, there is a lock, right? And if I press this, well, actually, it's already open, huh? And uh, these, what are they called? The zipper, right? <laughs> I'm barely even high, yo. The zipper goes into this, and you press it in, like so. And when you do, if you change the combo, you won't be able to press this to pop them out, right? In order to reset the combination on the bag, on the top of the combination, there's a little button. You have to hold that in and then you change the combination, then you let it go and boom, you've got a new combination. It explains this in the little instructions that it comes with. Let's open this puppy up and see what it's all about, yo. So I think one of the big selling points, and here we go, right? And then you have this piece right here, which is uh, detachable, right? There's a little Velcro that holds this in place. And uh, yeah, the big selling point I think of this bag is that there is, there's carbon inside these, uh, inside of all of the bag. And when I say carbon, just like an active carbon filter used to eliminate odors from your grow setup, this is the same type of situation inside the bag. So if you put flour, if you put hash, if you put rosin, whatever you put in here, if it smells, it shouldn't smell outside of the bag because the carbon is gonna filter the smells, it's gonna absorb it. Now, what is the shelf life of this bag? Because the reality is a carbon filter only lasts for so long, right? So if you have a carbon filter in your grow setup, depending you know, on the filter, maybe it lasts two, four grows, depends, right? Um, so does this last for a year, two years? It doesn't say. And so I'm not sure how we test that, but it was like 30 bucks, so it should last a while. Look at these little circular parts right here. So we can put a grinder in here, right? So put this big old grinder. This is the three-stage grinder that connects, co collects Keef on the bottom, right? We can then over here, we could put our vape. This is a PAX 3 uh, vape. I did a review on that. I'll leave it up at the top. Um, I guess we could even just put this over here, right? In the netting right there. Or... I wonder, I bet these things are removable, right? So if I don't want one of these in there, right? I could take it out and I could put the vape in there. I could put in some rolling papers, a, a joint tube, more rolling papers. I could put a lighter. I can put the, the, the cleaner or the, the pick for the PAX 3 in here, right? And let's say I wanna put these other accessories somewhere else. I flip this over and maybe I put them over here in the netting, right? This is all like the cleaning supplies, right? The, the different tops, et cetera. And then the charging cable, right? Now, where do we put the charging cable? Maybe we put this inside. I'm gonna show you real quick. Let me put this in there. And we just put quite a bit in here. In fact, boom, we zip this up, we're good to go. So I'm gonna open it up right here in this netting. We have the cleaning stuff, we have the different attachments to use for concentrate, to have the change of the mouthpiece for the PAX3, et cetera. All of that is right here. If we flip this up, you'll notice that we didn't even use this, so we could take this out if we're not using it, right? Next, inside here, you'll see that I have the a big grinder. I've got rolling papers. I got a rolling uh, 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 cone, rolling papers also. I've got a joint tube. I've got a lighter. I got the PAX 3. I've got the thing that cleans the inside of your, your bowl, if you will, on the PAX 3. And then uh, right here in the back is where I have the, the charging cable for it. So it's kind of cool because the PAX 3 didn't come with any type of storage case. And now I've got this. I can toss it. I could just throw it and it's going to be all right. Everything sounds like it's staying in place. Let's open it up to verify that, right? Everything is still exactly where it was. Now, again, we can leave this in uh, this piece in here and this piece just connects right here. And we can put that, maybe that adds like a little more protection for things to move around. Now, as far as this, we didn't use it. We could still put it in here because there's still room to put it in. Now, obviously, things could fall out like they just did right there, so you're gonna pay attention. You're not gonna throw it around when it's open. 
I don't smell anything, right? And I know that there's some stuff in here that might smell a little bit, not a lot, you know? So I haven't done real tests by putting a bunch of flour in there and seeing, but I'm not really that worried. I don't, uh, I don't travel with uh, too much of this stuff. Usually I blaze at home or I just take a joint with me while I go out and I can smoke the joint while I'm out. But overall, this is pretty nifty. It's got like a little holder right here. I don't see myself attaching this to anything. Uh, I would just carry it like this, bring it to a house or a party if I was gonna go smoke with some friends. Overall, I think I'm pretty happy with it. There's also some mesh here. Obviously, the mesh on the outside is not going to protect from any smells. Let's go ahead and bring these over. And I don't even think I would use the lock, you know? I guess maybe if you're around friends who are always like bogarting your stuff, like taking your shit and uh, not replacing it or not bringing their own, etc., maybe you would lock this so you could leave this at a house and then they couldn't get into it. But let's be realistic. Realist. Like I added an extra symbol just for fun, guys. <laughs> Anyways, let's be realistic. If someone wanted to get into this, all you have to do is cut one of these tiny little metals right here. You could use that with like a, a wire cutter or wire snip, etc., and you could get in this. Is this going to protect it from a thief or something like that? For sure, no. This is more that if you're at a house and someone wants to grab your weed or whatever, and they're not gonna steal it, but they just thought maybe they grab it right quick, then okay, that this would protect it. But other than that, you would be SOL. Anyways, guys, I hope you like this quick review of this product. I'll leave a link in the description where you can download one just like it. Uh, if you want, download one. You could purchase one if you want. Guys, I hope you found this video informative and useful. If you did, please like, share, subscribe, baby. You know the deal. Till next time, I'm out.